Hey guys, it's Smallers. I just wanted to do this little instructional video. So, um, I was, uh, how are you doing anyway? Yeah, you know, gotta be nice. So, um, what happened was I was at my grandparents' house. Uh, you know, I thought it was going to be on, and it was 70 degrees almost every day. Um, then a major cold front rolled through right before I got there, and it was about 50s almost every day that I was down there. And, you know, I knew that pond, I could still weed out probably 100 fish, you know. Oh man, only 100 which is, you know, amazing anywhere else. That pond is just phenomenal. It's a little eight acre lake. You can put a little boat, like a little canoe in there. You're not allowed to fish. Well, you know, I am, since my grandparents own it, but nobody else fishes it at all. Uh, so, anyway, I'll start off with my big baits, my crank baits, my rail traps, my baits, my jigs. Uh, and, you know, I was producing a couple, and they weren't big anyway. So, I, I found this floating. In the lake, somebody I guess snuck in there, broke it off, and it floated up. Had terribly rusty hooks on it, so I put this big, big, big trouble hook on the back. I didn't want to like mess up the action of it, so I tied it on my little trout and smallmouth rod, like a little light six foot rod there. Uh, four pound test. I can't even see it. Uh, four pound test, and I caught the crap out of them, and I only pulled off one or two fish. And I caught a couple five and six pounders. Uh, so I went to the store, bought another one with the original hooks on it. And after three fish, the hook started bending. Uh, you know, I was like, well, that just goes to show you that it really does count to vamp up your, uh, you know, well, amp up whatever, your bigger hooks if you're really trying to get serious with bigger fish and using small baits. Uh, the next day, it dropped down to probably about, ooh, 55 degrees. I said, dang, they're going to be off. So I tied on this just this little Rapala. Oops. And I put bigger hooks on it. And I just swent. Like, I just reeled it super slow. Gave it a twitch every once in a while. Let it flip. You twitch, twitch. Just I caught the living crap out of them. I probably caught 100. 100, 200. Not 100, 200. But like 120 fish on that lure. Uh, you know, the first day, I probably, first day, I probably caught 102, but, I mean, just phenomenal fish. I caught, you know, a handful of fives. I, mean, I think I caught one over six. The others were just two and three pounders, almost every cast. Some spots, it was, you know, one after another. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, it really does count to do your big hooks to change up, because these little baits can produce big fish. So, you know, if it's the fish are finicky or whatever, these are just, uh, you know, just showing you can do it with freaking spinners, you know. If a fish is hitting an uh, old spinner, you got old hooks on it, change the hooks up on stuff. really does count. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying uh, smaller baits on bigger lakes this time, and I'm definitely going to experiment with that. I'll get back to you. So, anyway, this is small. This is Smalley signing out. Please make sure to look at some of my other videos, comment, send me messages, any questions you want on any kind of fishing. Thank you.